Good morning, St. John's, and welcome to morning prayer this Friday, February 18th. We are so happy that you are here. Morning prayer begins on page 76 of the Book of Common Prayer, or you are welcome to follow along online by clicking on the link to the PDF in the description of this video. I'm going to give us all a few moments to settle in and to shift our gaze to God. I will give you as a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We will continue with the Jubilate on page 82. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 102, and it can be found on page 731. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me. When I call, make haste to answer me. For my days drift away like smoke, and my bones are hot as burning coals. My heart is smitten like grass and withered, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the voice of my groaning, I am but skin and bones. I have become like a vulture in the wilderness, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake and groan. I am like a sparrow, lonely on a housetop. My enemies revile me all day long, and those who scoff at me have taken an oath against me. For I have eaten ashes for bread, and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and wrath, you have lifted me up and thrown me away. My days pass away like a shadow, and I wither like the grass. But you, O Lord, endure forever, and your name from age to age. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have mercy upon her. Indeed, the appointed time has come. For your servants love you, you're her very rubble, and are moved to pity even for her dust. The nations shall fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion, and his glory will appear. He will look with favor on the prayer of the homeless. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation, so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord looked down from his holy place on high, from the heavens he beheld the earth, that he might hear the groan of the captive and set free those condemned to die, that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord and his praise in Jerusalem. 
when the peoples are gathered together and the kingdoms also to serve the Lord. He has brought down my strength before my time. He has shortened the number of my days. And I said, O oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years endure throughout all generations. In the beginning, O Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you will endure. They all shall wear out like a garment. As clothing, you will change them, and they shall be changed. But you are always the same, and your years will never end. The children of your servants shall continue, and their offspring shall stand fast in your sight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The same night Jacob got up and took his two wives, his two maids, and his eleven children, and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. He took them and sent them across the stream, and likewise everything that he had. Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he struck him on the hip socket, and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, Let me go, for the day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go, unless you bless me. So he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then the man said, You shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have striven with God and with humans and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, Please tell me your name. But he said, Why is it that you ask my name? And there he blessed him. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, For I have seen God face to face, and yet my life is preserved. The sun rose upon him as he passed Penuel, limping because of his hip. Therefore, to this day, the Israelites do not eat the thigh muscle that is on the hip socket, because he struck Jacob on the hip socket at the thigh muscle. Now Jacob looked up and saw Esau coming and 400 men with him. So he divided the children among Leah and Rachel and the other two maids. He put the maids with their children in front, then Leah with her children, and Rachel and Joseph last of all. He himself went on ahead of them, bowing himself to the ground seven times until he came near his brother. But Esau ran to meet him, and embraced him, and fell on his neck and kissed him, and they wept. When Esau looked up and saw the women and children, he said, Why are these with you? Jacob said, The children whom God has graciously given your servant. Then the maids drew near, they and their children, and bowed down. Leah likewise and her children drew near and bowed down. And finally Joseph and Rachel drew near, and they bowed down. Esau said, What do you mean by all this company that I met? Jacob answered, To find favor with my Lord. But Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep what you have for yourself. Jacob said, No, please, if I find favor with you, then accept my present from my hand. For truly to see your face is the liking, is like seeing the face of God, since you have received me with such favor. Please accept my gift that is brought to you, because God has dealt graciously with me, and because I have everything I want. So he urged him and took it. Then Esau said, Let us journey on our way and I will go alongside you. But Jacob said to him, My Lord knows that the children are frail, and that the flocks and herds which are nursing are a care to me, and if they are overdriven for one day, all the flocks will die. Let my Lord pass on ahead of his servant, and I will lead on slowly, according to the pace of the cattle that are before me, and according to the pace of the children, until I come to my Lord and see her. So Esau said, Let me leave with you some of my people who are with me. But he said, <clears throat> Why should my Lord be so kind to me? So Esau returned that day on his way to Seir. But Jacob journeyed to Succoth, and built himself a house, and made booths for his cattle. Therefore the place is called Succoth. Here ends the reading. We will continue with Canticle 10 on page 86. 
Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. Everyone who commits sin is a child of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The Son of God was revealed for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. Those who have been born of God do not sin, because God's seed abides in them. They cannot sin, because they have been born of God. The children of God and the children of the devil are revealed in this way. All who do not know what is right are not from God, nor are, they, nor are those who do not love their brothers and sisters. Here ends the reading. We will continue with Canticle 18 on page 93. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. Continuing with the Apostles' Creed on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. 
Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers. And because in our weakness we can do nothing good without you, give us the help of your grace, that in keeping your commandments we may please you both in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honor of your name. Amen. In the next few moments of silence, I invite your own prayers and thanksgivings. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for joining us this morning, and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. And if not there, then back here on Monday morning. Bye, friends.